Hello and welcome back to Who Wins. In this series, I'll be putting two characters of around the same power level against each other. In today's video, we have Killer Croc versus the Lizard. Before we get started, don't forget to comment your battle ideas and please correct me if I get anything wrong or if I miss a feat. With that being said, let's get started. Killer Croc was created by Jerry Conway, Don Newton, and Gene Colan, and he first appeared in Detective Comics number 523. His origin, however, wasn't explained until Batman number 359. Killer Croc was born with a skin condition that makes him resemble a crocodile. He was raised by his aunt after his mother died during childbirth. While he was growing up, Croc had no friends and was often bullied because of the way he looked. He would also spend most of his childhood in and out of juvie. By the age of 16, Croc was sentenced to the death penalty after he murdered another inmate. This sentence, however, would be overturned by the Supreme Court and after 18 years in prison, he was released. After getting out, Croc found work wrestling alligators as part of a sideshow carnival. It is here where he earned the name Killer Croc. Pretty soon, Killer Croc realized that there was more money to be made in crime, so he set out to become the most powerful mob boss in Gotham City. Killer Croc's powers aren't that complex. In fact, he only possesses superhuman strength, speed, and durability. Killer Croc's strength is pretty impressive. He can throw Batman with enough force to break a wall and can effortlessly bend prison bars. He can also lift a giant pipe over his head. Killer Croc is super durable. He survived being stabbed through the chest by two bowling pins and point-blank gunfire. Croc has also been shown to be unaffected by Batman's batarangs. That's enough about Killer Croc. Let's look at the lizard for a minute. The Lizard was created by Stan Lee and Steve Ditko, and he first appeared in The Amazing Spider-Man No. 6. His origin was also explained here. After he lost his arm to a grenade during war, Dr. Connors began researching reptiles and their ability to regenerate. And after years of researching, Dr. Connors developed a serum from reptile DNA. Dr. Connors used the serum on himself to regrow his arm. Everything seemed fine until he started turning into a giant lizard monster. Connors was eventually cured by Spider-Man and returned to his human form. Sometime later, Dr. Connors would create another serum that would once again turn him into the lizard. From this point forward, he would constantly fight Spider-Man. When Dr. Connors turns into the lizard, he gains superhuman strength, speed, and durability. The lizard can easily rip the door off a safe and throw two motorcycles into the air like they're nothing. He can also destroy part of a wall with his tail. The lizard can withstand the flames of a Bunsen burner and a punch from Wolverine. He's also completely unaffected by bullets. Besides these powers, the lizard also possesses large claws, fangs, telepathy, and regeneration. His telepathy allows him to control all reptiles within a two mile distance. With this ability, he made alligators attack Spider-Man. So who wins and why? Let's analyze Killer Croc and the lizard some more and compare feats to feats. But before we do, there are going to be some rules. The first round is mainly going to focus on their strength, durability, and speed. In the second round, both Killer Croc and the lizard will be amplified. They will also be able to use all of their abilities. The battle will also mainly focus on these categories. Any other notable feats or attributes will go into their X factor. With that being said, let's get started. In the strength category, Killer Croc has been shown easily destroying a metal door and a concrete wall. He can also flip over a car. The lizard has also been shown on multiple occasions to be able to destroy a concrete wall. He can also throw a bulldozer several feet into the air and almost knock out Spider-Man with a single hit from his tail. This is super impressive because Spider-Man has withstood a truck being thrown at him. The strength category has to go to the lizard and it's in part due to him having better feats and more of them as well. When it comes to their durability, Killer Croc has been shown to be unaffected by bullets on several different occasions. Croc has also been shown to be unharmed by Huntress's arrows and a car crash that sent them flying out. By far, Killer Croc's best durability feat was when he withstood multiple hits from a venomless vein. This is super impressive because Bane, even without his venom, is still super strong. He was once able to punch the jaw off of a demon. The lizard's durability is very good as well. He's been unaffected by a shotgun blast and a missile exploding next to him. The Lizard has also withstood a hit from Stegron. This is impressive because Stegron is capable of punching a hole through concrete. One of the Lizard's best durability feats was when he survived a fully powered punch from Spider-Man. This is super impressive because a similar punch from Spider-Man has been able to go through a steel vault door. The Lizard takes the durability category and it's mainly due to him being able to withstand a punch from Spider-Man. Unfortunately, when it comes to their speed, both Killer Croc and the Lizard have very little feats. Killer Croc only really has two speed feats and they are him being able to blitz Batman and Supergirl once stated she was impressed by his speed. 
The lizard's fast enough to catch the enchantress before she can teleport away and blitz a guy before he has the chance to shoot him. By far the lizard's greatest speed feat was when he was able to dodge a blast from the human torch. It's mainly because of this that the lizard takes the speed category. And finally, let's look at their X factors. Killer Croc doesn't really have anything but the lizard does. He has both regeneration and telepathy. The lizard's regeneration is pretty powerful. He won't say that he could regrow back his entire arm if he tore it off. His telepathy only really works on reptiles but it's still pretty strong. So when we look at all of their feats, who wins and why, I'm gonna give the first round to the lizard because he does have the better strength, durability and speed. The lizard's strength clearly outmatches Killer Crocs. For example, while Croc can easily flip over a car, the lizard can throw a bulldozer. It isn't hard to tell that a bulldozer weighs more than a car. In addition to the lizard having better lifting strength, he also has better striking strength as he was almost capable of knocking out Spider-Man. The lizard also clearly outmatches Killer Croc in the durability category. For example, the lizard has survived a fully powered punch from Spider-Man and a missile exploding next to him. In the other hand, Croc can withstand multiple punches from a venomless bane. And finally, when it comes to their speed, the lizard again is superior as he has been able to dodge the Human Torch's attacks. Killer Croc is completely outmatched in every single one of the categories. There's absolutely no way he's winning the first round. But what about the second round, when both the lizard and Killer Croc are amplified? When the lizard is amplified, his strength doesn't really change, however his durability and speed do. For example, he can now easily dodge and blitz Spider-Man, while before he couldn't. The lizard's durability is increased so much so that he can easily survive being stabbed through the brain. In the second round, the lizard will also have access to his telepathy. Before it was amplified, his telepathy could only really work on reptiles. However, afterwards, it's able to work on humans. In the other hand, when Killer Croc is amplified, his strength and durability are increased. He also gains a healing factor. For instance, Croc can now effortlessly lift and throw a car into a building. He can also hurt Osiris. This is super impressive because Osiris was given a portion of Black Adam's powers. Killer Croc's durability is infinitely better than before. He can now withstand multiple punches from Osiris. Again, this is super impressive because Osiris does have a portion of Black Adam's powers. An amplified Killer Croc also has a healing factor. His healing factor is strong enough to regrow his hands after he bit them off. Both Killer Croc and the Lizard become really powerful when they're amplified. However, this round, like the last, will go to the Lizard, and it's mainly due to him having his telepathy. Sure, Killer Croc is superior physically, however, I just don't see how he'll be able to overcome and fight through the Lizard's telepathy. So overall, the Lizard is winning the battle, as he did win both of the rounds. That's it for the video. If you got this far, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. You know, every time I make one of these Who Wins videos, I'm surprised at how much I don't know about the character and how cool their origins are. This battle idea was recommended by one of you guys, so if you have any other battle ideas, please recommend them and I'll probably do it. It will take me some time, like a month or two, because I'm already making other videos, so yeah. But again, just comment it down below and more than likely I'll make it. That's about it. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.